In a world of increasingly similar laptops and convertibles and two-in-one tablets, it takes something really unique to stand out. I'm Derek with Android Central and Windows Central at IFA 2016, and this is the all-new Lenovo Yoga Book, and it's unlike any convertible you've ever seen. The highlight of the Lenovo Yoga Book is its unique convertible design. Sure, a touchscreen that folds back behind the keyboard into tablet mode isn't anything special. It's the keyboard itself that's the star here. And that's somewhat by omission. Instead of 100 plus traditional physical keys, the Yoga Book has a virtual backlit keyboard embedded into a full-size touch panel hinged to the display. With a touch of a button, the keys disappear into a mode that Lenovo calls the Create Pad. Grab the full-size real pen and you can write and draw right on the surface. Doodle, take notes, annotate screenshots, but the real pen doesn't even have a battery to replace or recharge. All of this is packed into a lightweight aluminum and magnesium case that weighs a mere 690 grams and measures just 9.6 millimeters thick. Apart from the giant touch surface, the Yoga Book also has a 10.1 inch Full HD IPS display, Intel Atom X5 quad core processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and a micro SD card slot if you need more space. There's also a nano SIM card slot to add LTE connectivity. Around back, you'll find an 8 megapixel camera, and there's a 2 megapixel shooter on the front. Interestingly, Lenovo plans to offer the Yoga Book in both Android and Windows PC versions, though the hardware will be the same between the two. Running Windows 10, you can expect around 13 hours of battery life, while the Android 6.0 version will hit up to 15 hours. Both versions of the Yoga Book are coming in October 2016, with the Android version priced at $499, while the Windows version will run for $549. The Lenovo Yoga Book is easily one of the most interesting designs we've seen in a long time. But I want to know what you think of it. Let us know in the comments, and subscribe to both Windows Central and Android Central for more.